And a howdy do. I got a little glare here. I am outside on my patio again, and I just poured this. This is the double engine. Oh, it is a beautiful double uh, Imperial IPA from Kirkwood Station, a uh, small brew pub in Kirkwood, Missouri. Let me show you the growler there. Picked up the growler last night on the way home, and I just popped it today. Wow. How do you do? I'm Tom DeBrew Whisperer. I don't know if I said that to start with. Oh, 8% 98 IBUs is this uh, Imperial IPA. Oh. oh, it's great big. Big resinous hops. And I, I'm using this snifter because um, I do have one of those, you know, funky IPA glasses. But I, I think for these doubles, I really like the snifter better. I get more aromas uh, from this than I do that glass. A big resiny hops in this bad boy. Oh my gosh, it is absolutely incredible. It really is. This is a beautiful double IPA. I'm really surprised to find it in a very small brew pub like that to have something this big. I mean, you know, uh, I'm used to finding you know, nice session ales in a place like that, but to find something this big and this beautiful is just incredible. Oh, wow. Wow. Oh, my goodness. Oh. Does this belong in a conversation, uh, you know, with, with, say, the likes of, uh, you know, Hetty Topper or Pliny? Would would you consider it as, as good as, say, Hop Slam or... Uh, Optimum, you know, um, and the truth is for me, yeah, it actually, uh, it, uh, if you were to line them all up, uh, this one certainly would hold its own. I mean, it's, uh, you know, is it a champion? I don't know, but it's certainly a contender. I'll tell you that right now. Uh, it's just, uh, the way it comes together is absolutely beautiful. Oh, and it gets better the more it warms. As it warms, uh, the, the aromas become even bigger, and they're damn huge to start with. There's big resiny hops going on. It is absolutely gorgeous. Oh, wowzer. Oh, man. It's good. We went away for the weekend. Um, well, part of it anyway. We left Friday afternoon and stayed the night uh, uh, at a friend's house and then went on to St. Louis on Saturday for a pedal the cause function. They had a uh, the team captain for the hill climbers um, had a barbecue and invited us over. So that was very nice. Uh, you know, you know, I made a joke that, uh, you know, it, it's, it's, it's tough to go out there because it's, it's both heartwarming to see those guys. Yet it's incredibly saddening at the same time, and and uh, you know, <laughs> for an individual as shallow as myself, I don't want to feel all that emotion all at one time. <laughs> That's a whole lot of emotion all at once, man. So it was nice, but but uh, uh, the upside was that I got to you know we we hung out and had a barbecue and got to see these guys that meant so much to us and Seamus at the time and. Now, Seamus just loved these folks, and they just loved him, so it's kind of bittersweet. It's hard to see him without Seamus, and it's nice to see him, too. And then on the way home, well, I got to stop at Kirkwood Station uh, and, and pick up this fine. Uh, I actually sampled two beers. I didn't have any. I just had two samples. One was their uh, Saison, uh, and then this one, but I decided to go with this one. I was really in the mood for a double IPA, but w after I sampled it, it was it was just oh, I mean it, there was I knew I had to try. It. It, 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 I'm talking about sampling maybe two ounces, so it's really hard to get a beat on a beer with only two ounces. But that's why I like to buy the growler because not only do I, I mean sometimes it's even hard on with a beer this complex uh, to get everything you know with one glass full. So when I have a growler here, I can, you know, I can do several videos and talk about how it changes if it does or, you know, what I pick up yeah, for my third glass that I didn't get for my first glass. So so I am going to shut this one down and I'm going to do some more videos. But uh, hang on my patio. I got some chicken and pork meatballs cooking. I'm drinking a double engine from Kirkwood Station and I'll be back. <laughs> 